All right, college basketball. We're going to talk futures tonight. Come on. It is Tuesday, February the 19th. The show is brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. Six incredible sports books that you can go and bet on college basketball. Make your way down there. Check it out. Before you go down, though, go check out tunicatravel.com. They got all the information on all the sports books. Pick out which one you want to go to. Roll on down. Put your ticket in. Figure out who you want to win the national championship, et cetera, et cetera. We will be down there for March Madness for the first round on that Thursday and Friday. We can't announce where yet, but we will. We'll be announcing soon. We can't because we don't know yet. That's We have multiple but, suitors. Yes. We we got one that we think we're rolling with. But we do have multiple people, so we, we'll be down there, we'll and we want way. you guys to come and hang out with us. But we'll tell you all about it when we get closer. We're still we're still over a month away. Um, let's jump into uh, do the college basketball season so far. Okay. Now, you always wait until after <laughs> basically football season. Yes. Well, even usually later than that. So the last couple of years, I have waited until about a week or two before the conference tournament start before I get into college basketball. And we're we're getting to that point. We're getting to that point. That's right. And we're we're um, there. Now, obviously, I've been I've been betting You've been on in it all, for, yeah for a while ba- since January. Now, I've watched it all season, but I've been I've been really keeping up since January. I'm not going to pretend that I have. This is a sport that I just what was think, the you texted me about a game and I cannot remember what game it was. So I sat down and uh, it was a Thursday night or Tuesday night because it was oh after, it was Kentucky LSU. After, yeah, it was after yeah, after yeah, my yeah. kids got out of the swim, we got home, and everybody's in bed and exhausted, and uh, and I said I'm. I'm going to watch my boys. Like, LSU, I, I follow them on Twitter and stuff, like a bunch of people that are LSU people. I know that we're decent this year. Hey, LSU's pretty damn and good I, this and year. And I know that this is the knowledge that I'm going into this game with. I know that this game is on ESPN for a reason. It's because LSU is playing way better than normal, and Kentucky is always good, and, uh, and Rupp Arena is kind of big and crazy and, and whatever. It's going to be an exciting game. So I'm like, I'm in. I'm going to sit and I'm going to watch this game from start to finish. And I did. And I and I had a good – and it's not just that LSU won this game. It's that I really enjoyed the product that I watched. Yeah. So then I stuck around, got a two for that night, stuck around for Louisville Duke. And, man, I got a, a blowout by Louisville just rolling on them. And then a massive, unbelievable comeback by Duke. And I thought – and you had to watch have Zion I, play. And you have I watch... missed this all year? Because if I have, college basketball has stepped their game up. I don't think I have, and I think I'm just catching it right in its wheelhouse. There, there has been – so the season has actually been really good. Okay. It's really entertaining. Um, I've well, seen all the dunks from Zion. I watch all the morning sports shows. And the, the dunks know, are not the – But I, like, but, I, but yes. I know the, the highlights of the season. Yeah. And that's – I mean, you get the gist of it then. Yeah. Um, very much a super casual fan. I'm we'll, going to watch the big teams. We'll go through and list out the the future odds. Okay. And so this is uh, Action Network posted this, and it's I believe it's from one of the sports books in Vegas. Okay. So the the first team, the best team, lowest odds, whatever. Duke plus 180. That's not surprising Ooh, whatsoever. But that, but but 180 is pretty low though. Oh, it's r- extremely low. I'm I'm gonna bet that when the tournament is seeded and they're the number one overall seed, their odds are better than 180. You you can pay out better than 180 at that point. Oh, that's uh, so. That's actually what I had here. Like, it like, is. I wouldn't re- bet regardless them today. Of, regardless of who it is, that's not going down. No, that's that's not. No, uh, it, it is better and more profitable Just, because what you're doing with this is you are banking on a team. To hit six games in a row. That's right. It is more profitable to just bet all six games. To just money line bet your pick for six straight games. There is a bet at the sports books. Ask them about it. Most casinos have it to where you can bet an if and then bet to where you can make one wager and roll it. Yeah. So I mean that's that's, that's, that's a possibility. The best way to do it. Um, number two, Gonzaga is plus seven hundred. I wish so bad when when you showed me that number when we were getting ready to start this. I wish that this was almost like golf, where you could bet them or the field. 
and then you I just would, take the field? I would bet against Gonzaga. And I know you'd be paying it, but I would bet against Gonzaga so bad. I, Gonzaga is actually really good, right? Heard, so one of their I, losses I've was, heard this song many times. And they, they made it to the national championship two years ago. Was it two or three? And, I think and it was two years other ago. Other than that, what have they done in the tournament? Uh, they they typically get beaten early. So and here's so so people think because they don't watch most of the regular season, I don't know college basketball. Listen, college basketball is pretty fun when you get in the tournament time, and, uh, and it's kind of it's kind of it, you can follow it the way I do and follow it just fine. I think here's my deal with Gonzaga: their league in regular season is so bad. It's yeah. When they've, they get they've won in, sixteen straight games by an average of thirty. Points. When they get into the tournament, they get hit in the mouth. They go up against a big boy team, and they can't win. And now, if they I'll do win, this. they are one they of only two teams. The they are one of only two teams that has actually beaten Duke this year. That's so, fine. like, that's that's a pretty big deal. But it's different when you're playing them in like November or December right. as opposed to March. I was I was just so, about to say that. Uh, and yeah, that doesn't so make sense to me. We I haven't talked to you about this. We're gonna bring the wives in. On the show, oh, that was bad last year. Uh, well, it's been bad for two years because the wives are now two and zero against us in our NCAA tournament brackets. Uh, Mine doesn't even know it's called a bracket. Yeah, she, she calls it her picture. Yeah, her her basketball picture. But but we will have them in to go over their picks, okay. and we're we're gonna post it on YouTube. They will actually be a part of the show. Oh. I need you to go on and let Amy know about this. We'll see if that works out. Because uh, Jess is like, I've whooped your ass the last two years. I'm getting on that camera. She has. She and has. so I said, yes, you have, and I don't know how. That's fine. Because no, you have, she how. hasn't watched us. It's a bracket. Sleep. Yeah, you I just mean, it's a pick bracket. whatever. Um, but, yeah, so Jess is like, the wives are getting on camera this year. Okay. And I said, okay, that is, that we, I guarantee you that'll be fine. But uh, next up, Kentucky at number three, plus 1,000. Along with them, you've got Michigan State and Virginia, both at plus 1,000. That's, I mean, plus 1,000 is pretty good. Let me ask you a question about Michigan State. So here's what I know about Michigan State by not watching them at all. They have probably were projected to be really good, have lost a few games. People are going to count them out. They're going to get into the tournament as kind of a mid-seed and then be somebody's pretty popular pick to make it to the Final Four. Well, they Is that going to happen? They will be, yes, that's pretty much exactly. I mean, they've got two guys that are really good that are injured right now. There are very but few the team, people outside of the state of Michigan that love Tom Izzo the way I do. No, I agree with that. Um, they got two guys that are injured, okay. and they should hopefully be back by conference tournament time. So we'll see. I mean, this is the most predictable sport there is. Yeah. Because well, it's I, like Virginia. Virginia yeah. plus 1,000, it's like, okay, you knew that they were going to be awesome in the regular season, and then once it gets to tournament time, uh, they, they'll probably win the AAC or ACC yeah. tournament. Because they, they typically do that. Uh, now, granted, they have to they've, beat they've only they've only lost twice, but both have been to Duke. I was so say, they have to beat, um, find a way to beat Duke, or somebody could beat Duke for them. Because no, that's, that's entirely true. possible. That's true. So, it, but Virginia will get to the tournament, and then they'll lose to somebody that they're not supposed to because the slowdown pace doesn't always work. So, either way, uh, next up, Tennessee at number six plus twelve hundred. Then you've got Michigan at seven plus fourteen hundred. North Carolina plus sixteen hundred. And then nine below gets a little crazy. Is North Carolina good this year? North Carolina. Do you is, think they can win the national championship? If so, the NCAA tournament's all about matchups, right? That's right. They are good enough if they are in the right bracket and if the right teams get beat, right? So, like last I, I year, I mean, we had we had Loyola point. Chicago and Kansas State playing in in the Elite Eight last Correct. year, like. I mean, come on. South Carolina the year before. Yeah, and those are teams that North Carolina could absolutely beat. So, yes. Now, if they have to play good team after good team, they're probably going to get picked off okay. somewhere. But they're still, like, they're really well coached because they always are. Well, Roy Williams cool. is great. I know who Roy is. I, I love um, him. And they've got talent. Like, they've got some really good freshmen, but they're not, like, lottery pick They guys. never get the like, pub with recruiting, like, Coach K does and like Cal does, or no. even you know any of the other schools. They got a guy that comes off their bench named Leaky Black. That's an awesome. That name. sounds like a rap name. That's an like, awesome name. I mean, that is awesome. That's like, an Leaky awesome Black. Name. What's up? Uh, number nine, Nevada plus twenty five hundred. I love that. 
Nevada's act they've only lost one game all year. Okay. They are a top ten team. They things I didn't know. They made it to the Elite Eight last year. They start five seniors. Like okay, I do is, like seniors in the tournament. That's going to help me with making. Picks. Yeah, and and Eric and Musselman is and now Musselman probably not going to be there next year. He will probably get like the UCLA job or something like that. We'll see. Uh, but Nevada, I mean, they got they got two NBA guys that play on their team. Okay, and it's, that's big it's in that legit. league. Yeah, in that league, that, yeah, you're going to win that league. Yeah. Uh, Kansas plus 3,000. I was trying to figure out where Kansas is. This is bonkers. Look, they got two guys out, another guy that they were hoping to get back from NCAA eligibility stuff that that they didn't get back. They are starting, like, they are starting four freshmen right now, and one of the freshmen, they wanted to redshirt. Like, he wasn't even good enough to play Do you redshirt people in basketball? Yes, you can absolutely redshirt people in basketball. But do they? Like, if you get redshirted, are you ever going to see the field or the court? Yeah, absolutely. That's weird. I don't it's know. Uh, yeah, it's weird. But like, if you got enough guys on the team and this guy needs more time to develop, like, so my favorite contract stipulation reward bonus, whatever you want to call it, in all of college sports, is a Bob Huggins deal, where every every week, every year, he plays Kansas twice. Okay. Or however many times he plays Kansas. There's could, a bonus. It could be three times. There's there's a bonus in his contract where when he beats Kansas, he gets like a set that's like sixty grand. Like bam. Like every time if you beat Kansas, you get like you get sixty grand. That's crazy. They they so, beat Kansas this year. I know yeah. that. I know that. They beat so so I I bet on two college basketball games this year. One of my won, one of my lost. And it's both I'm gonna I'm gonna bet on Huggy Bear against Kansas. That makes sense. When you throw that tease at him, they show up different. Now last yeah, they, week, last week Kansas rolled them. Now I'll tell you this: uh, last night, a little money. Last night Kansas State rolled them. It was not good, not good. Uh, they rolled Kansas. No, Kansas State rolled West Virginia last. Well, yeah, night. I don't know that West Virginia is very good. They uh, got, no, they, they got are smoked by Kansas. So not very good at all. Uh, but Kansas is not very good. Like I, I, I was I'm wondering just, where they were because I don't. But well, they're, they're number ten on here, but it is in name alone. That's right. Like this is not a good basketball team whatsoever. Uh, number eleven, Purdue plus three thousand. I could see Purdue. Like they got scores, they got guys inside. Like they, they play defense. I Matt usually a great coach. like in the tournament Big Ten teams. I don't know why. I don't know why either. They don't typically make it uh, to the final I four. Mean, I, I don't do well on bracket things, but I like the Big Ten. Well, it, the Big Ten plays like the type of basketball that you and they I grew probably up watching. Cover a lot of spreads, which is why I tend to like them. Because I, I bet they're that. underdogs in most of the games that they play. Probably. Uh, number twelve, Texas Tech. They are uh, three thousand or plus three thousand. Villanova also plus three thousand. Number fourteen, Iowa State plus four thousand, and Marquette is also plus four thousand. Now, I was surprised that LSU was not listed on this. LSU's twenty and four. Can they win the national championship? I, I mean, I watched them go into Kentucky, yes. and I watched them play tit for tat with Kentucky. I, I'll tell all you this: game. this coming weekend. Tennessee has to go down to Baton Rouge. Holy crap. We'll we'll see what LSU's made of. So Tennessee and Kentucky are both going to get each other twice and LSU in like the same week and a half. Yeah. That's tough. That's kind of a tough schedule there, man. Well, but I don't know I mean, that anybody necessarily knew. Usually, No, no. Nobody predicted that LSU right. would be this good. I don't know that people thought Tennessee was going to be this good. No. And Kentucky's always we the same thing. We would have heard but, about it around here if. If people thought Tennessee would have been a top five basketball team, we'd have heard well, about they were, it so months ago. They were a preseason top ten, and in some polls they were top five, but nobody expected this. We didn't believe it, though. I mean, there's no, been, there's no, been no. many a times where you see a preseason poll out, and you're like, all yeah, right. They don't have a top 100 yeah, right. recruit that's on it. the roster. That's it. Like That's what's so insane about this is like what Rick Barnes is doing is pretty impressive. It, extraordinary. Good coach. Extraordinary. Uh, but, yeah, so that's all that they've got listed for this. I mean, if I had – if you made me wager one of these, I'd probably go – like, I like the odds on Michigan plus 1,400. Um, I've heard too many people early on in the year say they thought Michigan was the best team in the country. Yeah. Now, Villanova at plus 3,000, like, yeah, they've had a couple of bad games here in the last week and a half, but – 
for the most part, if they get hot shooting, they have got a ton of shooters. And well, they know how to win. And they know how to win. And they, they've been in this thing a lot. I mean, they've won two out of the last three. Plus 3,000 is good odds. Yeah, plus 3,000. I like that. It, Michigan worth plus 1,400. Yeah. Um, but be smart. Just money line every one of these oh, games. Oh, you're ever going to take a favorite. Yeah, just yeah, bet the just, games. Just money line. Like, or even if you're just going to take like Villanova, plus 3,000, yeah. it still would pay more to money line it every time. Just take the amount that you were going to put plus 3,000. Yeah. Like, say you were going to do $1,000 on Villanova. Like, yeah, that would pay out what? $3,000. $3,000. It'll pay way more if you just money line from game one through game six. Yeah. Guarantee you. Well, your first game, if they're a high seed, is going to pay you almost nothing. Well, it'll pay almost nothing, but you take that, add to it. That's right. you you just, if you're, you if just, you're rolling you it over, rolling. then, yeah. I mean, obviously, you're going to bet more the next time. Well, that's right. You're, you're going to bet more it. in the Sweet 16. You're going to bet more in the Elite yeah. Eight and whatever. And then, I mean, you get the national championship game, whether they're an underdog or a favorite, really doesn't matter. Like, you are going to be fine because you are, you are betting more money every time if you win. So, be smart with your money. Take it down to Tunica. Put it on what team you like the most, but wait until the tournament starts. Don't be – I'm not going to tell you not to bet on the futures here, but I will tell you it is a smarter play to wait until the tournament. If you feel like putting money on something like this, Vegas they got just doesn't, Vegas just doesn't give you good odds. No. In any futures, in any sport. No, they never do. But that's okay. Like, in, in other sports, you don't have to win six straight. Right, like in the NFL playoffs, yeah, you got to win like three straight, yeah. whatever. But in this, it is six straight games. It makes insanely more sense to do that. So go down to Tunica, go to tunicatravel dot com to get more information on their six sports books. Follow us over at winningcureseverything dot com. Everything you need to know over there. Go check that bad boy out. We're gonna jump into college football futures. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.